going on guys? We're back here again today with a review of the carpet that I installed in my 99 Accord sedan. I think it was about five or six months ago I put that video up. In November, I want to say, I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, this is just how it's been holding up ever since then. It is now April 5th, 2018. I just vacuumed it all out. Uh, one thing I really thought wouldn't really last too long Oh, it's this little grip right here. It's kind of got some dirt in it. You just need to clean that out. Uh, to my surprise, it's actually holding up pretty well. This corner kind of comes up just a little bit. It looks pretty good. Still, it doesn't really get too dirty. Except for when you get dirt and mud all on it. Uh, <clears throat> I did cut these a little too short up here. So that kind of shows. And also, did it right there too. So I had to take some strips and just throw them in there under the center console. But oh well. I'm about to get a new car really soon. I already got approved for a loan for it. I'm so happy. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the back here. The back looks spotless because I never have people back here. Still a couple of wrinkles and stuff like right here. You can see. Nothing too bad for a hundred fifty dollar carpet. I can't really complain. It does like to attract hairs on it. Some hairs right here. Well, that's not a hair. Like if you have a dog or something, don't bring your dog in your car because you just get hair everywhere. That's probably a given. Uh, I never put the covers for these bolts back on just cuz I didn't really care. I still have them, but whatever. Uh, these things here, these little, uh, I forget what you call them. These things, I uh, broke the clips on them so they kind of stick up. But oh well, it's like that on both sides. The door still closes. Somebody actually spilled tea in here. I haven't cleaned it up yet. Luckily I didn't get on the carpet and got all over them. <laughs> Go ahead and show you the other side here. Nothing really look at up here. It does kind of bow out just a little bit right here. Against this flat side. But once again, I don't really care. On this side, I also cut it too short. So you can see this big old gap, which isn't too bad if you want to put like colorful lights or something in there like I have. I have some like right there on both sides. Zip tied them. I actually took this whole piece out right here and I drilled some holes and I put zip ties to them. And, well, I guess you can't see it through there. We got one on the front on both sides, and they both run from here, and the little box is in the trunk. You can change them whatever color you want. They don't have to be the same. But, uh, that's pretty much it. Overall, I think the carpet has turned out amazing. I've got so many compliments on it from people who have ridden with me because it just looks so much better. It just complements the tan instead of being tan on tan, which kind of looks like crap anyway. Uh, for my next video, I'm gonna show you how to put subwoofers in here. And a 99 Accord, I have two right here. Oh, my flag's falling off. Disregard that, it's from when I was in high school. I just kept it on there. I've actually got twelves, and then there's some, some more lights under here that shine and light all this up. But uh, in the next video, I'll be showing you how to run it all the way from the radio all the way to the amp in the back and hook it up to the subs. All of my wires run on this side, on the driver's side. It's actually pretty simple to do once you get the hang of it compared to probably other cars like the luxurious ones. 
especially Ford. I hate working on Fords. Ford builds their cars like shit, and I cannot stand it. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, I guess I'll go ahead and wrap it up. Overall, everything turned out really well, and it's been about six months or so. I'll show you everything. No complaints at all. Appreciate you guys watching the video. I'll have the silver free install up pretty soon, probably within the next couple weeks. So stay tuned for that. Also, I wanted to mention that I actually replaced the power steering hose also. This is brand new, probably about a month ago. There's still some liquid right there on the spark plug from where it was leaking. I need to clean it off. But uh, that was a really difficult thing to do. And I actually did some video footage of it, but it didn't turn out real well, so I'm not gonna make a video of it for now. But if you have any suggestions of what I can do to this thing, or anything you guys wanna see, installation-wise, let me know in the comments below, and we'll see what I can do.